so this is this is the, uh, the young man I was talking about. He he's always stood up and um, stepped out and helped veterans. And I first met him a couple years ago when we did the uh, race across America. He organized the whole event. He got uh, veterans from each branch to represent at this event. He spoke at the event last year, and he did it again uh, this previous year. So I heard that Andrew, you you want to join the military? Actually, wants to go to West Point. And um, so I want to give you something that's a little special to me. So this um, this is actually something that hangs up in my um, my office. It's my combat action badge. Um, I got it when I was in Afghanistan, and also I got one in Iraq. So you want to read it? Uh, I'm not giving you this one, but I just want you to to read that and why why we got it, um, so you understand a little bit about the value of it. You can read it out to everybody. Yeah, right. <laughs> For combat action under hostile enemy fire during combat operations in Afghanistan on June, 27, or, sorry, on June 26, 2006, while attached to the 7th Special Forces Group, Specialist Trans Convoy was ambushed by Al-Qaeda and Taliban. Anti-coalition forces, without hesitation, Specialist Tran and his team carried on with their mission. With their mission. His actions are in keeping with the finest traditions of the military service and reflect distinct credit upon himself. 2nd Battalion's 20, 20th Special Forces Group Airborne Combined Joint Special Operations Task Force Afghanistan and the United States Army. Wow. So, so what, I wanted, what I wanted to do is I want to give you the actual combat action badge. That uh, that one's on our dress uniform. Oh, wow. This is the one that, that we wear in our wow. battle uniform because it's more subdued. But I want to give this to you. I want actually want to pin it on you. That's okay. Sure. So um, as you're going as you're going to West Point, I want you to know that um, this is something that uh, is special for us. We've been to combat, and that uh, you're, you know you're going to face some challenges as you go in the military, and there's going to be days that's going to be tough. But I want you to uh, to know that this is something that, that I wanted to give you because I felt that you earned it for what you do. Aw, um, yay! We actually stole this award from the Germans back in World War II, the, the, the bayonet and the grenade. Um, that originally was given to those who met the enemy in close range, where you had to use bayonet or grenade range. But uh, uh, I earned that, and I don't want to have that given to you. So. Aw, great! So one, 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 war, one old warrior to a future warrior. <laughs> Yeah. Aww. That's that's real cool. But that's awesome. So. Hey, Henry. Henry. Thank you. I have had. I have had two hundred and twenty combat jumps in my life. I got what they call blood wing, which means I was a master jump. Yeah, they turn the first half on range. This has been. Korea and Vietnam. For what you have done for us and everything, I want you to have this. Aww. You have earned this for the things that you have done for the whole force. You have made a many steps and a many jumps to do what you have done. I want you to have that. And a token of appreciation from me. You're going to have your picture made for you. I've got money like this, though.